Now, if you've added an image from the stock photo collection that they actually have here in Spark, you'll notice it kind of just adds the picture. And I've got this little eye icon over here on the side. When we click that, that's going to give us our attribution information. It's going to tell us like by who, what the source was. And we can actually go and view the original source. So we can do open link and new tab. And it's going to take us over to all the details about this picture. And we can find any kind of creative comments with the what that looks like for this image. Now, we can't really change that because it, it comes from them. And if you're doing citations for your images, the only way to actually edit this is when we go to do share along the top and we do publish and share link. If we select publish options, we now have this section here that says photo credit. And these ones are automatically generated by Spark and it uses their kind of their, their platform to do it. It just says created with images by, and I added this in myself earlier, by Lumen who created the one image that was used and it's going to do, it's going to lay these all out for you. If needed, you can go through and you can edit what these look like, but you should not actually remove the photo credits in their entirety. If you're going to edit them to be in a paid format or something similar, then that's where you would do it. And then we can do, when we do save and update link, so I let it do the save and update link, and now we're going to actually just go to the preview button. And now when we go and we scroll all the way to the bottom, we have our credits, they appear right here. And if you put in anything else, then that is what you're going to see there. So don't actually remove them, just edit them if you need to, because you're trying to be within a certain style format. This I find is kind of the best way to go about doing any citations that you might be doing. And this is also going to be the same if you do find images elsewhere that you then bring in. And I will also link in this guide the how do you actually do some of those citations that we have from Seneca College.